Hey guys, it's time to lengthen, strengthen, and mobilize. Today I have a total body workout for you and all you need are a couple of light dumbbells. I'm gonna be using five pounds throughout, but use something that's gonna challenge you but not completely exhaust you. We are gonna be blending some cardio moves with some mobility drills, with some bar and Pilates inspired moves. It's got a little bit of everything. It's a little seasoning from all over the fitness world, guys. <laughs> Grab your dumbbells, grab an exercise mat, soft surface, put on some mu uh, music that's gonna get you pumped, and let's get warmed up. All right, guys, let's start just by rolling the head around here. Just kind of want to loosen everything up, wake everything up. Good, now let's roll the shoulders up and back. Big shrug up and back, trying not to arch that back here. <sighs> Again, I've got my feet just a bit wider than shoulder width because that's gonna kind of play into our next move here. <sighs> Good, now go ahead and roll them forward. Big dramatic roll up and down in front. <sighs> Couple more here and then we're gonna roll down and roll up. Good, big shoulder roll, roll down. Think, think vertebrae by vertebrae and then roll it back up. <sighs> Shoulders back and down. Again, roll it down and then roll it up. Think tuck the pelvis, <sighs> roll it up. Again, roll it down and roll it up. Shoulders back and down, one more. Big roll up, roll it down and roll it up nice and slow. Go ahead and step those feet a little wider. Push those thighs apart and decompress the lower back. I'm kind of just relaxing into it, stretching those inner thighs, relaxing my core, maybe get some pops through that lower back. Good stuff. Then turn the feet forward, step it a little wider, rock it side to side. I am still a little sore from our last workout, but it's all good stuff. Remember, you can get lower into this as you feel more and more warm. I feel like I'm getting there. A few more here, guys. Oh, I've got ants on my floor. Nice. Wonder what they're after. My sweat, maybe? Good. All right, from here, I'm going to interlace those hands. Come on down. Come up stretch and then fall back down the opposite way up i'm making a big circle up stretch up a couple more just like this up meet me in center down here hang for a second and he'll toe those feet together and we'll roll it up and then we'll roll it back down and walk it out to plank. So get yourself at the foot of the mat, roll it down, walk it out to plank. Nice strong plank here and right back up. Roll it up, shoulders back and down. Again, roll it down, walk it out. I'm gonna bring that foot to the outside of the hands, rock here for just a second and then rotate open towards that knee that is bent. Back together, feet together, and walk it back up. Roll it up, shoulders back and down. Again, roll it down. Walk it out, same thing with the other leg. Leg comes up, rock it here for a second, open up. Back together, feet together, and walk it right back up. Roll the shoulders back and down. We're going to come down one more time. You can add whatever you want at the bottom here. You can just stick with that plank. I like to drop the hips and kind of roll side to side. You can add a push up, mountain climbers, whatever floats your boat. And back up, guys. Roll it all the way up. Let's stretch the hip flexors. Let's step back. One leg back and behind. I'm stretching that hip flexor. Uh, fl hip flexor of the leg that's back and behind, reach up, push the hips forward, and then dive down, squeeze the glute. Back up, push, 
the hips forward, same side. Dive down, squeeze. Back up for one more, reach. And diving down, push the leg up into the air, feet together, roll it up. Same thing on the other side, stepping back. Reach it up and diving down, squeeze the glute. Again, reach, push the hips forward and down, push that leg up. Back again, squeeze, push, dive. And feet together, I think that was three times, I lost count, feet together, roll it up. Shoulders back and down, let's squat. Down, push the arms forward. <clears throat> and then squeeze the shoulder blades together. Again, push, squeeze, push, squeeze. Get low into that squat. <sighs> push, squeeze, again. <sighs> Two more, down, squeeze, really squeeze those shoulder blades together. From here, push up, squeeze down, push something heavy. Pull something heavy. Up and down. Shoulders are staying away from your ears. Biceps directly next to your ear. Good. One more. And down. Jog it out. Roll your wrists. Belly button's pulled in here. Stay engaged. Rolling those wrists. Now I'm gonna relax the arms as I pick up the pace into more of a jog here. All right, let's switch it now. We're actually gonna run high knees. Heart rate's coming up, breathing rate's coming up. Switch it here, jumping jacks. Stay in control of the breathing. All right, guys, relax. Chest is proud, shoulders back and down. We are ready to work out. First exercise, we're gonna sink down into a sumo squat. We're gonna roll the shoulders, roll the shoulders. So we're really trying to work that internal, external rotation of the shoulders here as we're down in that squat. We'll go one side, then the other, reach it up and down again. Here we go. Squat down, roll. And the other way. Reach it up and back down. Let's look in the other direction first. Roll, roll, straight ahead, reach it back up. Down again, roll, roll. Look in that direction of that hand with the palm facing up. Roll, try to get deep into that roll. Back up again, down, 10 more seconds. Be a little fire in the legs, five, and in the shoulders, three. Rest, we're gonna come down, RDL, no weights for this one. I'm gonna touch down, and then I'm gonna sink back, reach, stretch overhead in that low lunge. Here we go. Some single leg RDL here, and then I'm gonna step back, Big stretch, back up, and then down, pushing those hips forward. Again, this is still kind of a warm-up circuit. I promise you'll enjoy the rest of this workout. 15 seconds, back down, woo! Might have a little heat building in that leg in front. Seven. Yeah, and rest. Good, I'm gonna step back into a lunge, rotate into a sumo squat, and then repeat in the opposite direction. We go in five. Don't forget what leg you were just doing, by the way. Step back, sumo, lunge, opposite side. Back into that sumo, stay low if you can. Again, so I'm working on opening up the hips, the inner thighs, 
and it burns, does it not? <sighs> Again, remember which leg you had planted for that RDL. <sighs> My thighs are burning. 10 seconds left. Oh my gosh. Five. And ah, good. Starting with that, or going back to that squat shoulder roll. In five seconds. Three. Here we go. Down. Roll, roll, up to stretch, back down, roll, roll, up, stretch, back down, roll, roll, should feel good. Up, you got 20 seconds left. Big roll, roll, up, 10 more seconds, guys down roll almost done three good i'm gonna turn this way so now it's my right foot that i'm planting you're just doing the opposite side rdl into that reverse lunge where we really stretch that hip flexor in three here we go this side might not have as good a balance so far, I'm surprising myself. Down. Like I said, guys, this is still kind of a warm up circuit. Oh, I almost fell. Again. You got 10 seconds. This is my fallen arch foot. So my foot is not as strong, causes my knee to collapse in. Good, reverse lunge, sumo, back to that reverse lunge, other side. We go in five, three, here we go, stepping back, sumo squat open, and again, making sure that knee isn't falling in, either knee isn't falling in at any time. So stay active through the glute, especially when you're in that lunge, right? Fire through that glute. 20 seconds. My inner thighs are burning. My inner thighs were a little sore going into this, so. 10. Five. Ooh-wee! Two. Rest. Ah, all right, new circuit. Grabbing our dumbbells for this next move. I'm gonna roll down. Forget everything you know about a deadlift. I want you to roll through the spine. You have got to use light dumbbells for this one, all right? We roll it down, and then I'm going to roll it back up. Then I'm gonna engage that core, step forward into a lunge as I press overhead. We go in three, here we go. Roll it down, vertebrae by vertebrae, just like we did in the beginning. Roll it up, nice strong abs. Step forward to press. Again, roll it down. Nice stretch on the entire back body. Roll it up, back up, press and step forward. Again, rolling it down, this is good stuff. This is the feel good stuff. Roll it up, again. Roll it down, roll it up. Step forward and press. We got three seconds left. You got time to roll down. Roll it up nice and slow, guys. Next exercise, we have got some rotator cuff strengthening with a curtsy lunge. So I'm gonna bring my arms out to the side like I am a dead cactus. Here we go. Rotate up while I'm up, curtsy. Back to stand, down, up, curtsy opposite way. Good, down, up, stay lifted. 
you're going to want to use light weights here up curtsy you can always just come to shoulder level if you don't quite trust those rotator cuffs just yet or just do this body weight be careful 10 five i'm already sweating two good definitely felt my arms dropping on that last one okay i'm gonna hinge over squeeze the upper back squeeze the shoulder blades together as i lift one leg and repeat like we're going ice skating here here we go skiing or ice skating I'm flexing the foot, squeezing my glutes, staying hinged over with a flat back. I'm not arching my head to look in front of me. I'm looking down at the floor in front of me, not directly below, but in front. 10 seconds, you feel the back firing up, the glutes firing up, five, two rest we go back roll it down roll it up step forward into that lunge as we press heart rates up in three here we go roll down roll up nice strong core oop i forgot to press Look at me being lazy, down, up. Don't forget to press, lunge and press. We got it. Roll it down, I was cheating. Roll it up, lunge, press. 15 more seconds, roll down, roll up. This is an exercise you could probably go closer to eight pounds with that press, as long as that back is healthy. Nice. All right, we have got that rotator cuff exercise with that curtsy lunge. We go in five seconds, so only do the version that is comfortable for you. Maybe it's body weight, maybe we're going full. My internal rotation is super crummy. 30 seconds, we got barking dogs cheering us on. 25, 20 seconds, guys. You can make this more exciting by adding a press when you're down in that curtsy. If you're a glutton for shoulder punishment, which I'm not. Five, ooh, I'm drooping, two, rest. Ooh, okay, we're stepping uh, the leg back as we squeeze the shoulder blades together. Back body strengthening. In five, hinging over, back is flat. Here we go, squeeze. You can do this as fast or as slow as you need to. And I want you to make sure, ooh, Franny, that your knee, your ankle, and the arch of your foot aren't collapsing inward. 18 seconds, guys. Keep burning with me. Stay engaged in the core, belly button's pulled in. Five, two, yikes. All right, we're moving on. Next exercise is a side step squat with a front raise. We're gonna do a single arm front raise. So I will step to the side. The direction that I step in, I'm gonna use the opposite arm to lift up. Then we'll come together, step opposite direction, opposite arm will lift. So the leg that stays planted is the side that the arm is gonna lift up on. I can talk. Here we go, stepping and then back together, other side. Notice how I'm letting the um, opposite dumbbell come out to the outside 
of the squat. Make sure you're breathing. I like to exhale as I lift that dumbbell up because my shoulders are my weakest link. If for you, it's coming out of the squat that's the hardest, exhale as you come out of the squat. Eight seconds, for me it's also talking, that's hard. So if I can exhale during that too, that'd be great. Good, we're gonna hinge over three tricep extensions. Then I'm gonna pop the feet together, press and jack right back down. A little combo move for you. Here we go. One, two, three, up, press and jack. Good. One, two, three, up, press and jack. One, two, three, up. We got it, guys, in your own time. Work at a pace that works best for you, that you can survive another 18 seconds doing. Ten seconds. Five. Yes. Good. I'm going to do two swinging jumps. So I'm going to hinge at my hips and fling the weights up in front of me as I hop up twice. Third swing, we'll step back into a lunge. Here we go. Swing one. Yes. Two. Three, swing them up, step it back. Good, jump, one, two. Number three, step it back, opposite leg. Hinge to swing up, two, swing back, lunge. Good, back stays flat. This one's fun. Isn't it? 10 seconds left. Up into that lunge, back into that lunge. Swing, swing, back, rest. Side step, front raise. Heart rate is up now, isn't it? All right, grab the dumbbells. Stepping out to the side, raising in front. Here we go, step, yes, together. Heart rate is up. Breathing rate is up. I'll let you know when that timer has good news for you. Make sure those knees aren't falling in, guys. 15. Stay long through the spine. Don't round. Five. Two. Woo. All right, three tricep kickbacks, jack press, in five. Two, here we go, hinging down, one, two, three, jack and press, one, two, three, jack to press. We got it, 30 seconds. One, two, three, you're halfway. Good, keep going. Abs pulled in to protect your spine, to protect your low back. Oh my goodness, five seconds. Who would have known five pounds could feel so heavy? Good. Swing, jump, two times, back into a lunge. We go in five. We're feeling good, guys. I hope. Here we go. Swing, jump, swing, jump, swing back. Again, hinge, jump. You let those weights kind of throw you up there. Use them as momentum and it's a little fun 
Good. You're over halfway right now. <sighs> 10 more seconds. Back is flat. Rest. All right, guys, we're moving on. Our next exercise is a downward facing dog, burpee-ish. So we'll pop, we'll go downward dog, in, shifting into plank, and then we'll pop those feet into a squat, front raise with the dumbbells, back out to plank, downward dog, repeat from there. Should feel good. It's a little challenging for those shoulders <laughs> and the mobility of the hips, but we got this, right? If you need to step it, you can. Here we go. I'm gonna start from plank, pressing into downward dog, back to plank, squat, front raise, back down, downward dog, back to plank, front raise, plank, press, we got it, back, lift. You're over halfway, downward dog, you can take your time in that downward dog. Enjoy the stretch on the shoulders. Five seconds. Two. Let me end in downward dog rest. All right, next exercise. We've got a good morning to a curtsy. I'm gonna take my dumbbells, bring them back and behind, just kinda let them rest there. I'm gonna turn the toes out, step a little wide. Good morning here. Back nice and flat, curtsy lunge. Again, so I'm gonna face you. Hinging down, back and behind. Think of it as like a deadlift. It's a hip hinge. So you're sticking your booty out, making your bum as big as possible. And then I'm stepping into that curtsy lunge. My toes are slightly out. If you feel a strain in your knee, you can always opt for a regular reverse lunge or even down into a squat. Three, know your limits. Good. We are gonna sink down into a sumo squat. Hold it there. We're gonna teeter side to side, but we're gonna add an upright row. In three, here we go, down. I'm gonna row up as I drop the opposite dumbbell. I'm squeezing my glutes. My pelvis is actually tucked under me. Abs pulled in. And the torso is as upright as I can get it. I'm giving myself all the love handles in the world because that's how deep I want that bend. Good. We got it, guys. 10. Try not to impinge the shoulder here. So I'm just rowing up just below my clavicle. Three. Rest. Holy smokes. All right. Downward dog. Front raise. There's a burpee in there somewhere. I don't want to talk about that. And three. Just kidding. I like burpees. Here we go. Down. Stretch, back up, lift. Again, back. If you need to do this without dumbbells, go for it. You are just about halfway. Enjoy the stretch, enjoy the challenge. 15, a little bit of everything today, 10. I am sweating more than I thought I would. And rest. All right, we're going back to that good morning curtsy. Can't even see where the dog is, barking at everybody out there. Toes out. Here we go. Down. You should think about keeping that chest proud here. Not that you're trying to arch the back, but there is a controlled arch. 
in that back. That natural curve of the spine. 20 seconds, hinge, squeeze those glutes to come up. Hinging down, squeeze to come up. Five seconds, guys. I know it got hard. Rest. All right, we got that sumo teeter with that upright row. And our next circuit is down on the ground. We got some feel good stuff, but then we're coming back up. Yeah. Here we go. Teeter and row it up. Stay low. Don't let those knees fall in. I want that knee tracking in line with the second and third toe. Big dip, reach, side body strengthener, side body stretch. It should feel all kinds of good and burny and awful in a good way. Seven, have those inner thighs. Three. Yow. Breathe, guys. We're coming all the way down onto the ground. All right, guys. While we're down here, if you want to take a, oh, spill your water. Take a quick sip of water. Get yourself situated on an exercise mat or carpet or something that is soft. We're gonna do a 90-90 to a press. So I'm gonna hold my dumbbells here. I'm gonna pretend I'm holding them here. I will come up onto this shin of that front leg, press here, back down, try to roll the switch, press here, and repeat. All right, guys, we got it. We go in eight seconds. If you need to do this without dumbbells, by all means, do it. We go in three, here we go. Coming up, press, down, roll to switch. Now, if you need to, you can always put your hands back and behind you to roll and switch. Do the best you can. Eventually, we'll try to be mobile enough to not need the support of those hands back and behind. 15 seconds. Good, we're working on the mobility of the hips. Almost done, five, three, rest. I'm gonna set my dumbbells aside. I'm gonna straddle my feet wide here, dive down, and then I'm gonna fall back, hold in that hollow position for just a few seconds, dive back down, here we go. Reach forward, come back, try not to put those hands behind you, hold, abs pulled in. Again, out, dive, back up, hollow, hold, Woo! pull them in. Again, dive forward, back, hold. You can always put those hands behind you if you need it, but try to challenge yourself. If not today, maybe the next time we do this workout. 10, diving forward. Try to get a little deeper into it each time. Three, two, yeah. All right, we're gonna do a pigeon kickoff. This is fun. We're gonna come into plank, drive one knee, mountain climber, and then kick it up like we're gonna go into handstand, but don't go into a handstand. And then I'm gonna whip that leg under me, pigeon stretch. Here we go. Drive the knee in, kick it up, back in. Relax into it. Again, up, opposite leg drives in, up, under. Now, wasn't that fun? Take your time in the stretch. Back up, plank, opposite leg, in, up, under to stretch. Again, back into plank, drive the knee, kick off. My way less mobile side. Again, knee, kick, 
and relax. We go 90-90s. Grab the dumbbells. Let's get ready for it. I know I like traveled all the way across the floor last time. Here we go. Up, press, down, roll it. Press. Abs pulled in. Everyone gets some serious rolls coming over their pants on this one. Who cares? Ditch that negative self-talk. Focus on form. 10 seconds. Is anybody else sweating? Two. Rest. Dumbbells aside. We straddle. Dive it forward. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out here now. <clears throat> and then we'll fall back. Here we go. Back, hold, and dive forward again. Take your time. I'm gonna scoot a little bit further. Yes, hold, abs pulled in. It's hard to lift those legs up, isn't it? 15 seconds. 10, moving in your own time, focusing on what you feel like you wanna focus on most. Two, woo! All right, we got that pigeon kick off. So we'll come back into that plank. Get ready, drive the knee and then kick off the floor in three, just for fun. Here we go, drive the knee in, kick, Sweep it under and stretch here. Again, up, drive the knee in, kick, sweep it under. Oof. Anybody else have one side that is way, 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 way tighter than the other? In, kick. I'm losing my strength here, guys. 10 seconds. We got time for one more. Three. Beautiful. All right, we are coming up nice and slow. Our next exercise is a curl, squat, and press. I'm gonna step to the side, just like we did um, with that front raise, except this time I'm gonna curl up here squat down to the side, and then press up while I'm down in that squat. We're working on our overhead mobility. When we're down in a squat, it's kind of hard. Here we go. Curl, squat, press when you're down. Again, stepping to the other side, curl, squat, press with the opposite arm. Down, curl, squat, press. We got it. If it is too hard for you to press overhead while you're down in that squat, go ahead and press when you're out of the squat. Just do the best that you can. I want that bicep right next to that ear. Three. Ah! Rest. That got hard. All right. Dumbbells aside, we're coming down for a bird dog. I'm gonna reach up, opposite arm and opposite leg, then back and behind to touch opposite fingers to foot, and then repeat on the other side. So we're out, tap, out, other side. Out, tap, out, other side. Out, tap, out, other side, we got it. You guys are moving at your own speed. Maybe it's quickly today. Maybe it's slow and controlled. Make sure belly button's pulled in and that you're not letting the uh, uh, core sag down. So I want you to stay engaged. 
pubic bone tucked in, not flared out. Rest. All right, dumbbells, make sure they're really out of the way for this one. We're gonna do a lateral bound to a half a Cossack squat. So I'll bound to one side, squat, like lunge into the other side, repeat. Right here, bound, and then lunge as deeply as you can, back up, bound, lunge, back up, bound, lunge, up, together, bound, lunge, <clears throat> together, bound, lunge, we got it, bound, lunge, 10 more seconds, should feel the good stuff, three, Woo. <clears throat> rest, going back to that uh, squat with that overhead press, curl, step to the side, press overhead, here we go, curl, squat, and press overhead while you're down, with just the one arm, <clears throat> 30 seconds. Get nice and deep into that squat if you can. Remember, we're trying to get that bicep right next to the ear. Tall spine, glutes engaged, knees not falling in. Three. Yes, bird dog, tap. Got sweat dripping down my face here. In three, here we go. Reach, tap, reach, and switch. Reach, tap, reach, switch. Abs pulled in. No arching. Reach, tap, reach, switch. 20 seconds, guys. Should feel that back body strengthening. 10. Last three. And rest. We're gonna bound laterally and then step into that opposite side. If you're, you can only get this far and then be my guest. Just try to challenge yourself a little today. Find a range that feels good. Here we go. Hopping and then sinking down. Up, hopping, sinking down. Pop, sink. Maybe it's only here, right? Hop, sink. Hop, sink. Hop, sink. 15 seconds. Hop, sink. We're trying to be strong in all ranges today. Three. Good. All right, guys, we're coming all the way down for our last circuit. So make sure you've got a mat or something nice and soft. We're gonna roll back, roll up, and then dive forward, stretch, touch our toes. Then we will roll back, up again, dive and touch the toes in 15 seconds. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna feel good, it's gonna be fun. So fun. Our next one is gonna burn the abs, but this one's gonna be fun. Seven seconds, guys. So just enjoy this stillness time. Here we go. Roll back, up, dive, reach for those toes. And again, back, up, dive, reach for the toes. Take your time. It's not about speed. It's about control. Make sure you pull those abs in to help you control 
that roll back and dive forward. You can take as much time in that stretch as you need to. Three. Good. We're gonna stay here, come all the way back, and stretch those hamstrings a little more with a Pilates inspired uh, single leg stretch here. So I'm gonna grab the uh, calf and then switch. I'm gonna pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch. If you start to strain through the neck, go ahead and rest it down. Only go as far as you can control. I want the abs pulled in nice and tight. Point those toes if you can. Working from head to toe, 15. Think of a little exhale, exhale, inhale to switch. Five more seconds, guys. Keep them pulled in and then we're gonna come up in two. Good, coming up nice and slowly grabbing those dumbbells. Oh, my sweat art. I'm gonna jack the feet as I lift the arms out to the sides. Then I will step down, touch the ground from a squat. Here we go. Jack, touch down together. Jack, touch down opposite side together. Jack, we got it. I've got a fly flying around in here. How did you get in? We're just getting that heart rate up one last time before we're done with this entire workout. 10, five, two, rest. Good, roll back, dive forward and stretch in five. Here we go. Roll back, up, dive it forward. Back, up, dive it forward. Try to get deep into that stretch taking your time wherever you need to. You have got about 10 more seconds. Five. Good. All right, we'll come all the way back for that single leg stretch again. Massive scissor kicks. Here we go. Pulse, pulse. Inhale to switch. I'll let you know when that timer has some great news for you. But for now, I want you to focus on the breathing. Focus on keeping the belly button pulled in. You have got 15 seconds left. Remember, if you need to rest the head down, you can. Just keep up with the movement while the head rests on the floor. Five, three, and yes. All right, we're coming up slowly, grabbing the dumbbells, jack, and then squat touchdown. In three, this is it, guys. This is your last 40 seconds of work. Here we go. Jack, touch down. Jack, touch down. 35. You're almost done. I hope you got in a good sweat with me. You feel stronger and longer. I do. 20. Fifteen. Ten. 
five, two, yes, good, you guys, you did it. Grab a quick sip of water, pace the floor, catch your breath. All right, guys, I'm not gonna stretch you out because that whole workout was a basically a 40 minute stretch. So if you wanna add anything, go for it. Otherwise, I'm gonna leave you here and I love you and I will see you next time.